Hello everybody, like a buddy's three here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart the V-Cube 6. Um, so, uh, there are two versions of the V-Cube 6 that you may have. <coughs> the original version, which has a clicking mechanism that's really annoying. And then the pillow version, the V-Cube 6B. Or, I think in the future, they haven't come out with it yet, but they may be coming out with a new version that's a uh, good turning flat version. So, uh, but the thing is, all of them, uh, come apart the same, and I'm sure the new one will too. <coughs> so, since this one is very annoying, and I don't really want to take it apart, uh, I'm going to use this one to demonstrate. However, this one is a bit easier to take apart because it has a clicking mechanism which holds the pieces in place. So what you're going to want to do is stick your fingers in between here. If you want, you can kind of rotate the layers and then get your finger in there. And then just pop these pieces up, and then you're going to take out this section of four and do them all at once, but it kind of takes some skill. And I can feel that my puzzle is uh, pre-lubed. They put lubricant in it at the factory, but I recommend wiping this out and using some better lubricant if you have some, but it's okay for now. So... We just take out that section of edge pieces and these. If the n other section of edge pieces doesn't want to come out, you see this inner piece, you just kind of push this over to the side and it should come out. And then just continue assembling it. If you're on a table like me or a desk, then you may want to make sh do it very slowly and make sure none of the pieces fly off. I had a piece just fall, fall, fall on the ground there. <coughs> Keep on going. You can see that corner came out. And just completely take it apart. Once you get to this stage, uh, you can kind of turn one layer and then turn another layer. And you see that section just came out. So, after you've got all these pieces out, you may notice there are a couple inner pieces. You may have to take those out. But here's the core. Uh, if you have the standard, uh, the old version, then you won't have these little circles, and you won't be able to do that. But, uh, we'll just, uh, take these off for now. Okay, so the first step you're going to want to do is your... Uh, get these pieces out and organize out what how, the way I like to do it is separate these big corner pieces and also these big edge pieces, inner edge pieces, and these small uh, inner pieces. You may want to organize all the pieces, but I like just having a pile of the rest of them. So I will be back in a minute. Okay, so once you get all the pieces sorted out, as you can see over here, I have eight corner pieces, twelve inner edge pieces, and a whole bunch of these little pieces. Uh, you don't, uh, for the bigger pieces, I recommend counting them and make sure you have all them, but for the small pieces, just go through and find as many as you can. If there are one or two in their big pile, it won't mess you up. So now you grab the core, and if you have one of the newer versions, uh, you have to snap on these pieces. So do that real quick. One other note is if you took the core completely apart, uh, you need to make sure that these little circle pieces, the bump, is on the right side. But the as long as you're careful, uh, the these little notches are different sizes, and as long as you're careful, they'll fit in the right ones. So once you started. Once you have this, you're going to uh, be making one section, one-eighth of it, right, like that. But, and then I'm just going to let you do all the rest of the sections by yourself. So, first thing you're going to do is grab one of these inner edge pieces and stick it in there. And then you'll find one of these smaller inner pieces, one of the bigger ones and one of the smaller ones. 
and then fit them in each other. There we go. And then just kind of have this piece right here and slide them in. There we are. Let me take a bit of uh, work to get it in there. Uh, but then you just get the other one. And one more note, this will be a bit easier with the old version because they have little bumps which snap these pieces into the core. There we go. And now we find a side that's uh, a center that's perpendicular to it. Like that and that. And we put this one in too. Okay, here we go. And now we will set this side down. Um, you may want to hold it by the top so it doesn't roll off. But uh, now you're going to find a piece whoop, that looks like this. It has this little piece and then it extended out and it has a little hook on the bottom. It also has this little indent right there. And you're going to put that on right there. And then they're gonna you're gonna see a piece like this, but it's actually two different types of these pieces. One that's a mirror image. If you just put the uh, hole, open hole on the bottom, you'll be able to tell them apart easily. And then you just put one on right here, and one on right here. And so you just do that. And then you get a piece that looks like this, that has this big hook. And as you can see, that fits right on, oops, not if you knock it off. It fits right on here. And then you'll get two types of uh, edge pieces. Uh, this type, it's bigger than this type that fits inside of it. And just put that in right there. And then get another uh, two of them and fit those on right here. Then you're going to get a corner. And just a note, uh, if you're going to put this together scrambled like I am, uh, then you're going to have to have all of the corners facing the same way in relation to each other. So like, if I put on this corner, uh, it's white, so, and I have white down, and all the other four corners will have to have white down, and like, orange right here, these four, and just <clears throat> put all the basically put on all the corners in solved uh, in relation to each other. So I'm going to just put this on here and at this point we can kind of set it down. And now we will grab two of these pieces again facing opposite directions and then put one on right here and then one on on the opposite side. So once you get it to this point you can grab one of these pieces, well actually two of these pieces and you want to set one on, the one on the side on like this. And so it just goes right behind there. Turn my light on. And then the other one on, just the opposite of that, like this. <coughs> and set it on right there. Then we'll grab one of these bigger uh, uh, edge pieces and set it on here. Next, you grab two of these uh, pieces. This was the first piece that you put on and put one right here, right here, one has the logo on it, and if you have a little bump right here, it may be a bit more difficult to put it on, the way I like to do it is to just kind of slide it, put it at here on an angle, and then just slide it down. Then, next piece, you're going to get, again, these two pieces that face uh, different directions, get one of each. And then you're going to be facing these up. And so just put one in, and if it's the wrong one, then it'll be, uh, it won't fit in. So just slide that around onto there. And then put the opposite facing one onto here also. And then you'll grab one of these smaller edge pieces and just slide it onto there. Once you have this section of pieces, you're going to want to push these together kind of and uh, make sure they won't fall apart because it's very likely that they will be able to right now. And then you'll grab one of these larger inner edge pieces. And just push that and slide it right on into there. 
you may want to push everything back together again. And then you'll be putting in the two small inner edge pieces, I mean, small inner pieces right here and two small pieces right here. Okay, so once you have one section, again, you're going to uh, want to push it together and make sure they're all in place. And then you're going to just repeat the same thing on every single corner. So, put this up and then you'll build a section right here. Then you just build up all the pieces and keep going. And at the start, again, you won't be, you only have to put up one right here. One little section. So, when it, once, uh, come back here and pause the video. Once you are putting in this piece on your second to last, uh, eighth piece. Okay, so once you got to this point in the puzzle, unlike on some other, uh, large V cubes, uh, on the other ones, you would put the corner in first and then put in this piece. But because, I don't know why they did this, but they made the corner stock and the base of the corner really small. And so you don't actually have to do that with this puzzle. So just fit in the large edge right there. You can grab these little section of pieces and build it up. Okay, so after you got this, put in the corner, making sure you have all the colors lined up right. And it'll fit right in there. And then can grab the edge pieces and here we go we are putting the last pieces in and there you go you have your VQ6 back assembled and now you just have to solve it so I guess in the it, this is the end of the video now, so see ya! And fit it under there.